So a few of these insane persons are going to get some guns and do whatever they want. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Bruce, just the tip of the iceberg. This is, society is crazy. From bottom, rotten to the core. This is just a little tip, little sign. The same people who will complain, who will lament like this about, about humans when something happens to them, who will complain about their dogs. Another instance, a dog up in Canada. Saved 12-year-old from a cougar who was attacking. The dog got all chewed up. Hmm? Police came and shot the cougar, and the dog was saved. And the first thing they think, give the dog a reward, big, fat, juicy stick. The same people, like this pita, put up these big posters on the buses in Toronto. That what is the difference? How did it go? What is the difference? Why kill one? Yeah. Why kill one? And something. Why love one and pet one and kill the other? And they had a picture of a dog, and they had a picture of a cow or a chicken. What's the logic? Can you help me understand this? How can they be so enamored by their pets? but so dumbed out, numbed out, to what's happening every minute in these slaughterhouses and all these factory farms. There's no consciousness. What can we expect from a society which is steeped in the moment of ignorance like this? It's not a quick fix. It's not, you take, not, not just passing some gun laws. Like I heard one fellow say, you, you think that somebody couldn't have taken a sword or a saber and, and, and killed just as many kids in that amount of time if you wanted to without a gun? There's so many ways. That's foolishness. They think that that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna stop it. That's going to stop it. And there's so many stopgap measures that they're trying to do. Just patch up little holes here, little holes there, some new laws and... It's not going to work. It's in a mode of ignorance. And it doesn't, doesn't come out of the mode of ignorance every, every, overnight. So what is the solution? It's not possible to bring in a Varnashram Dharma, Vedic culture of ancient times, which is meant to bring people gradually from ignorance to passion to goodness. No one's going to go for that. And we don't have the time. The only possibility, there's two possibilities, is we try to enlighten the leaders or we try to enlighten the masses. How? Well, the leaders may hear Bhagavad Gita. It's difficult for masses to really understand. Prabhupada said many times that Bhagavad Gita is for leaders. Krishna spoke to Arjuna. Big, big, big Rajarsi. And he could understand. So especially if just the leaders understand, and yet, yet, achyadati shreshtas tathpeta vektaro janaha siyat pramanam kudate lukustatam nabartate. The big, big men, they understand, they've set the example, people in general will follow. Okay? So we get a few big men in the governments. Then they may be able to lead. You know what the problem is with the dem democracy, most of the world's democracy? That's not going to work. Because as soon as the big men say, you know something, I'm not going to give you what you want. I know what you want is unlimited sense gratification, unlimited natural resources, unlimited animal flesh, and you know, all this, this, and that. I'm not going to give that to you because it's not good for you. They'll say, you know, go to hell. You know, you're not going to get past first base in your election. Right? You actually think that a God-conscious person is going to win the presidential nomination? Impossible.
possible. Because other people are in a lot of ignorance. So what good is that democracy? What good is that vote? Yeah. In, in, in a, at, at the very least, if you're going to have a, a vote, voted in leaders, you need to have persons, the voters, who are qualified. You need to have a certain section of society, like Brahmins, who have some qualification to understand what is the qualification of a real leader. So then, what is the solution? We have to go to the masses, ultimately. And the masses are going to stand by the Gita. Not immediately. So the Holy Names comes back to the Holy Names. Somehow or another, getting people to, to hear the sound of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Maybe even better, probably, so that's a secret weapon. Prasadam to the masses. Harinam to the masses. Prabhupada was there. Most devotees were going on six days a week, eight hours a day on the streets. Now everybody says, where are you guys? Are you still around? I thought you, I thought you got disappeared in, in the 70s or 60s. And lots of prasadam. It's only hope. You have a better solution, please please tell me, because I've really been trying to think meditate on this deeply, but especially the last few days. And actually, you know, ever since Aurora especially. It's it's a big, 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 deep, broad problem. No quick fix. But it, it requires purification. And, and it requires purification of the masses because there's too, too many people none out today. And like I'm saying, we're just seeing tiny little bits of these guys who are going off. And just today we read about another two or three other things happening already. Yes, thank you. Time. Krishna says he's time. <laughs> We have some slokas from the Bhagavad Gita for the children to recite. So, so that way, I said you heard from Krishna, right? Krishna's coming. And now Krishna's going to, Krishna's book, Bhagavad Gita, the children is going to recite. So please, please, help us. Help us to get the holy names out. Help us to get Prasadam out. And help us to get Bhagavad Gita's out. Because going to the colleges means future leaders. You know, not everybody. Or masses may not understand, but least leaders should understand. Help us to get these books out. Gita Marathon, Gita Janti next Sunday. And like this man said, it's not my problem. It's all of you. All of you. Your children are going to be hopefully living in this culture. Hopefully they'll get that moment. Okay? So we firmly believe we have the panacea, we have the solution. And if I have time, or if someone wants to email me, I can send you a wonderful article about members of the KGB in Russia, before Soviet Union you know, dissolved, and such a problem they had stopping the book distribution of Prabhupada's by Gita. Such a problem. And they realized that beside the Western rock music and this Hare Krishna books, these are our biggest enemies. It's very, very powerful. This process of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we don't understand the potency of what it has, how it can change and save the whole world. So if you just take part yourself personally. Take part. Have it. Have it work for you, and then take part in distributing it to others, and you'll experience that potency. What it's like to be that instrument to help someone else, and you won't want to stop. Because then you'll, you'll see how powerful this is, and you'll see how it helps change people's lives and save them. Personally, you can see that, you can experience that.
So please help us. Thank you very much. No problem. Bye. Keep coming.